Hey guys and welcome to a day in the life of a small business owner. So today is my day off from my normal day job. Um, so I thought I'd show you what I do for my small business on my days off. So I'm just at the moment making a nice cup of tea for myself and a nice coffee for my dad because I'm that lovely person and I'm just going to make the teas to get ready and start me for my day. Pour that milk in. Stir, stir, stir. Time for my lactose free milk. Go me. Oh, drop the tea bag. Make a mess. Yep. Nice little dirty tea mark on the side there, Aim. Well done, you. Winning at life. Now it's time to feed my baby girl. Sashi poo, I don't know why she looks like a devil here, but she clearly does. Now it's time for to feed me. So this morning I'm going for some ready brick and the box decides to fall over. I'm just using the whole of the bag because there wasn't a lot left. So I'm using all of that, using my lactose free milk, pouring shitloads of that in. And it looks all gloopy. And yes, I am wearing Christmas pyjamas because why not? Christmas is a lovely time of year and I'm just obsessed with those pyjamas. They're so comfy and warm and it's bloody cold here. So no judgment, please. That's your aim. Use the box to hold the, hold the dirty spoon. Brilliant. I don't really know what that little tongue poke out there was now i'm just going to add some blueberries to make it somewhat healthy a few blueberries there and of course a banana because if anybody knows me they know i'm obsessed with bananas at the moment I'm not gonna lie i've probably been obsessed with bananas the whole of my life but hey ho so i'm just cutting the banana up mix 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 Cutting more banana. That's your aim. Just scoff the rest because there's no room in the bowl. I promise, guys, it was nicer than it looks. Okay, so now I'm actually dressed and it's time to pack some parcels. So here I am trying to um, put the box together. And I must say, these boxes are so bloody annoying to put together. Because they don't always bend when you want them to bend. And here I am going to get stamp happy with my new stamp. Go me. Yep, I put the box together and then I realised I couldn't unfold the box to stamp. But there I am, I've stamped it. So this is a little dog bandana that a customer has purchased so I'm trying to fold it neatly and place it into the box or with some scrap tissue paper and a little thank you card. These corners here are the ones that don't fold. Now time for another box. A lot of tissue paper there. This is another little surprise order I made for a customer or a friend. Um, who's having a little bubba so I made her a really nice burp um, cloth and a little card to go in tissue paper's having trouble there folding oh okay so I'm getting some ribbon and I'm folding the ribbon up then I realised it's upside down. <laughs> oh, God. Trying to make that perfect bow and make it look all pretty to go in the box. There we go. We got there in the end. We managed to do it. 
little bit of sellotape to seal it because I'm not that person who has thank you labels or labels with my business on it because I'm not that fancy. Okay, so now we're going to put it in the parcel bag. That is absolutely too big for it, but we work with it, guys. We just work with it. It's all cool. We just go with the flow. Tell so tape it all up. And Bob's your uncle. That's one parcel. Done. Sorted. Ready to go out. Just need to pop the address on it. And now we're going to do the second one. Okay, so we're just doing exactly the same as what I've just done. Popping it all in the extra large bag. That is miles too big. But we just roll with this. This. Oh. Now I'm going to stick my label on with the address so I can post it off. I like to use a lot of sellotape, don't I? Jeez. Woo! There's second parcel done. Now it's time to venture out in the snow and post the parcels. All, all posted. And I treat myself to a cheeky Starbucks. Little snowman there. Now it's lunchtime. I'm making myself some tuna and mayonnaise. And almost dropping the box there. Well done. Some lower than light mayonnaise. Mix, mix, mix. Don't know why I put the lid on when there was nothing left in it, but hey ho. We're rolling with it. Okay, so we have one whole grain wrap to start with. So I'm doing the new fancy thing that was on TikTok where you literally cut a slit in it and you put it into quarters. Some more mayonnaise because I clearly needed loads of mayonnaise. One dollop of tuna and mayo and another dollop of tuna and mayo. Let's cut some cucumber. Give that bit to Sasha. Okay, now you're probably thinking I'm weird because I'm cutting the edges of the cucumber off, but I don't like the green edges. Don't know why, I just don't. So please do not judge. These bits do not go to waste, as you will see later on. Cut some tomatoes. Just three will do. Then I was going to have some more tuna. Then I decided I don't want tuna in it. There's enough tuna in it. Let's get some some uh, lactose-free cheese. Because why not? Then, that looks lovely. Here comes the trick. Fold, fold, fold. Perfect little fan. So yeah, I decided to be a pig and have two. So these cucumber bits go to Sashi in her little bowl. And she loves cucumber. Now I've had lunch. It's time to get creative and start actually doing some more work for my business. So this here, I am just marking out the lengths I need of the fabric for one of my customers orders then I'm getting my handy ruler to try and draw a straight line which clearly didn't come out because I had to re-go over it with the pencil <laughs> just typical of that now we're gonna cut it up cut 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 Just look at that. Let's 
cut the other side. Chop, chop, chop. Now I've cut it all up, I've pinned it all together. Now it's time to get the sewing machine out and sew along those edges. Nice little shot there of my double chin. Hello to you, Mr. Chin. Don't know what I'm doing with the cotton there. Clearly there's an issue. Come on, Aim. Chop, chop. Hey, here we go. Or not. I don't know what I'm doing here. There's clearly something wrong. Here we go. So I'm now finally sewing the edges of the fabric together. Yay me, finally getting it going. Just cut those extra strands of um, thread off. Now I will need to sew the other side. Cool, I'm very slow at this. What am I doing? Just sew the other side up, woman. Talking to myself, clearly. Oh, I'm getting the pins out. I have to get the pins out before I sew it. Because otherwise, the pins will get jammed in the sewing machine and we don't want a big jam, do we? No, no, no. Right, are we going to start sewing it or are we just going to faff? There's a lot of faffing. Hey, I'm sewing it. There's a hell of a lot of faffing going on here. <laughs> Queen of faff and double chin. That's quite in shot there. <laughs> I apologise. So this is another doggy bandana as I'm trying to demonstrate. So here I've made two doggy bandanas and two face masks. Customer orders. Thank you for watching guys. Mwah.